here with head coach Dan Evans following Ohio Dominican's 81 to 76 victory on Saturday over Lake Erie. And Coach Evans, let's talk about that second half where you held Lake Erie to 39% shooting. Uh, your team shot 59% from the floor. What was the key to that final 20 minutes of basketball? I think for us to start by making a couple shots really helped us. You know, one was a really good look. The other one was a good look and got a little bit lucky to bank in. But, you know, I think us getting off to a fast start offensively uh, was really big. And they probably missed some shots they would normally make. But I think we did a pretty nice job overall of rebounding and allowing ourselves to get out into the open court. Lake Erie made a run there in the final five minutes or so. But you never let them have the lead. They cut it to one possession a couple of times, but you never relinquished the lead. How important was it for you to, even though you gave up a, a eight, 10 point lead, but you're able to respond, get the stops defensively when you need it, and also hit some free throws, hit some shots when you need to as well? Well, I think it was big, and I thought we had a variety of people step up. You know, Shamar Wall hit a big three, Jesse Ward hit a couple really big free throws, Chad Nelson hit three really big free throws, uh, and that's always a good thing. I mean, it was a pretty disjointed half and a lot of foul shots for both teams. I think both teams were in the bone as well before the 10 minute mark. And so I don't think either team got much flow or rhythm to it. Uh, and we were able to make uh, our free throws at a pretty good clip, I felt. Uh, and we got some stops when we really, really needed them. And we came up with some loose balls when we really needed them. A couple of names you already mentioned, but let's talk about that bench. I provided 32 points for you. You had 16 points from Shamar Waugh. Nine points, seven rebounds from Jesse Ward, seven points from Jordan Cowgill. How important is it for them to step up? Well, it's really important, obviously. You know, we, we're not exactly the deepest team in the country right now in terms of bodies. And so uh, any contribution we get off the bench is always important. But I, we have high expectations for everyone on our roster. And, you know, I thought all three of them stepped up and played really well and played really big minutes and, and were under control and tried to do the things that we're asking them to do. And, and we were able to have some success with them tonight. Quick turnaround. This will uh, upcoming on Monday. It'll be your third game in, in five days. How do you get everybody kind of back together on Sunday and, and get ready for the game on Monday? Well, you know, we just get right back at it. You know, we practice tomorrow and watch film and, and prepare for Monday's game like we would normally prepare, uh, you know, with one day in between. And, uh, you know, the schedule is the same for everybody. And even though they come at you pretty fast with this setup, uh, I think everybody's in the same boat. And, the reality for our league is whoever executes uh, best, whoever plays the hardest on that night, is probably going to come out victorious, and, and we just hope it's us. All right, Coach Evans, congratulations on the win today. Thanks, Scott.